Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, I'm going to give you a short update uh, today. We haven't done a whole lot of work uh, because we've been dealing with some of the uh, fires out here in Colorado and that creates a lot of ash, which makes it difficult to do some of the finish work that we're doing on the panels. So that uh, has slowed us down a little bit, but let me show you some of the things that we're doing uh, with regards to the 3D printing. And then uh, I'll show you right here, this is what the fire looked like. So as you can see, that's not great. Um, it did rain last night, so hopefully that uh, got rid of some of the uh, fire, but uh, some of Boulder County is still under evacuation orders. So. Uh, I think we're safe, but uh, for the moment, and so uh, our uh, thoughts and prayers go out to the firefighters who are really uh, busting their butts to get this thing out, and also the people who are affected. It really stinks to have to leave your home and wonder if you'll ever get to go back. So uh, we, hope, we hope you guys are all uh, stay safe. Um, anyway, to the project, we have um, done the skinning. So what we did here was we took uh, the roof section out. This is the roof section that goes over there. We took that out and um, one of the things I noticed is it was uh, higher here than it was over here. So we fixed that and we matched it uh, to the engine cover. Then the slope of this uh, side and the slope of this side were different. So I cut it all apart and then re-sloped everything so that it has exactly the same slope. So when we, and then also I had to flatten this out. This was actually pretty bumpy. So we flattened this out. Then we skinned it in uh, carbon fiber. Um, and we're also, I can turn this over. You'll see we're doing the, we have to redo some of the forged carbon on the front and blend that together. So we'll be getting that done as well. Oops. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we needed to put a few more layers of uh, uh, epoxy on this, and then we'll um, uh, do some of the finish work, and then we'll re-clear coat it. So uh, we're going to sand it all down again, too. There's some kind of lumps and bumps in some of the panels. We're going to fix those um, as we move forward. Again, we were kind of rushing it because of the show that we did uh, in September. Now if we go back over here, you'll see I've made some marks on the engine cover where we need to do some trimming so that we get uh, good shot lines and good fitment. Um, this is right here is uh, we continue with our 3D printing. So uh, I designed a insert for uh, these big holes in the engine cover. Uh, so there's one for here, one for this side, and then there's one that's going to fit in that triangle up there as well. And then the bottom piece will get covered in a uh, Lexan sheet, and so that you can still see down in the engine. And then the little hexagons there are for venting engine heat out of the uh, out of the engine bay. So that's basically where we're we're at with uh, with that. We've also done uh, some more uh, fitting of these scoops. So I've done some trimming up here um, so that the, uh, this guy opens and closes properly. Uh, so you can see if I lift this up. We had to put in some uh, stronger uh, gas shocks. And we may have to go even stronger yet. These are 120 pounds, so we may have to go up a little higher, uh, especially at the angle they're at right now. So uh, we could go with a little bit higher angle, uh, but that uh, may not allow them to clear uh, some of the structure inside. So, but uh, yeah, this is where uh, we're gonna put Lexan. So we're gonna actually uh, get Lexan and, and uh, screw it uh, to that lip, which is uh, nice and flat. Uh, whether we smoke it or not is a different story. I don't know, we may keep it clear. So uh, we'll see what we do with that. The next thing 
I showed you before, we'll, we'll mo start moving forward and start doing the skinning on uh, the door jams, uh, with, which are integral to these side scoops. And then we'll start working on the doors. One of the things I don't like about the doors that I think we're gonna fix is they're a little wobbly on the hinge. And I think that just has to do with the structure uh, where the door hinge actually attaches to the frame. So we'll sure that up a bit and see if we can't get that to uh, be a little less uh, kind of sloppy and a little bit more sure of itself. Uh, because when the door opens, it, it, it can wiggle. Uh, we also have to adjust the way the door opens because right now, if you just let it fly open, uh, it kind of goes out of control. So we have to figure out, you know, the weight of the door and all of this stuff when we get everything together so that we have a, a nice clean opening that's uh, also damped so that it doesn't slam when it goes uh, all the way up. So uh, more to more work on the doors. Yay. <laughs> um, we've also straightened out some of the wiring. Uh, it was looking pretty ratty earlier, so we've done some of that. So uh, we'll finish printing uh, some of the other stuff that we're doing on the engine cover. Um, and then we're probably going to do uh, some more of the some more printing for some of the other accessories on the car or trim pieces. So again, I uh, hope everybody's uh, safe from the fires here in Colorado. Um, again, it really stinks, but uh, you know, usually uh, every summer or late summer, uh, Colorado is on fire. So uh, it's really, we've had the largest fire uh, ever in Colorado uh, this year. So uh, it has affected quite a few people and, and we're, we're hoping they're safe and hope their homes are safe. Anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please uh, do that, and uh, we'll see you next time.